Good morning. <laughs> well, I'm a little bit nervous about this because, um, because I am. <laughs> okay. Um, last night I was watching YouTube and I saw Tracy Cook on the Sid Roth show. And, uh, I felt like, I felt like God was speaking to me through that. And uh, it was the show episode uh, dated 527. Sorry about that. It's, I don't think I'm getting on here. There we go. There we go. Good morning. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Richard. Thanks for joining me this morning. Um, I guess you're not opposed to prayer. <laughs> kind of in the raw this morning. It's only 4.44 a.m. And um, I'm coming to you live, of course. <laughs> Anyway, I was watching the Tracy Allen show last night. Um, no, the Sid Roth show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tracy Allen Cook was on the Sid Roth show, and I felt like he was speaking to me, like God was speaking to me through him. And um, I was I was born again in 1992. Yeah, I um, I came to the Lord in 1992, and I uh, in 1999 I began um, hearing from God. I was taking a I was taking a class. That's awesome, Richard. I was taking a class um, about uh, intercessory prayer, and the book the class was focused on was uh, Intercessory Prayer, The End Time Vanguard, and it was a book by Susan Gaddis, and you can find it on Amazon. It's about 10 bucks. And uh, good morning, Yvonne. <laughs> um, these are perilous times, you know, um, I'm not going to go into um, everything about what how God spoke to me last night, but that's the reason why I'm here this morning. And he's been speaking to me, as you can see in the background, my number is 444, and be strong and courageous. God's been speaking to me since 1999 um, and confirming when I pray, he's been bringing confirmation to me through the number 444. And um, I was watching a show last night, a Sid Roth special with Tracy Ellen Cook, and I heard God speak to me loud and clear. Um, I hope you're doing your coffee this morning, because <laughs> I certainly am. Um, prayer's been a way of life for me since, oh gosh, um, since I got born again in 1992, prayer's been a way of life. I, I raised my children up with prayer. Um, and God's been speaking to me. I have um, a gift of the prophetic uh, if you have a different belief system, you might call it clairvoyancy. But as a Christian, this is what we call it, the prophetic. I want you to read this front line on the Epoch Times. Can you see it? You might not be able to see it. The front page of the May 28, June 3rd uh, paper says a new battlefield to counter irregular warfare by America's adversaries. Special ops should pivot to pre 9-11 strategy, experts say. Well, I will tell you this, that we need a new strategy. We do. And us God-fearing uh, Americans should be praying to God and we should be sharing our faith with you. And that's why I'm here. I'm going to begin going live every single day, every morning. And I'm going to start praying. I'm going to model prayer. I'm going to model prayer for you so you can. Yeah, I see that. Thanks, Richard. I knew it was backwards. Um, but I, I just I just heard God speaking to me through that headline. Um, and it is a new battlefield. And we need, we really need, um, <laughs> we need God. We really, we truly do. And this is a spiritual battle. It's not against flesh and blood. And uh, the Lord called me to, uh, to intercessory prayer back in 1999. And like I said, and he began giving me the uh, confirmation of what I was praying was accurate um, through the number 444. Uh, he warned me about 9-11. He warned me of the Columbia Space Shuttle that uh, before it went up and exploded and, and all of the passengers died. And he also warned me about the tsunami in Thailand um, pre that, um, those events happening. And what I mean by that is God gave me the word national disaster and I just began praying and, and interceding. 
And um, the reason why I'm here today is because uh, we need a new strategy. <laughs> um, this this is this it's a war <laughs> against good and evil. And um, so I'm going to start sharing my faith openly and my uh, desire for God's word and to uh, to know it. And actually, God's word will be our greatest protection in these these turbulent times. Um, so I want to turn first and tell you a little bit about his word, the eternal word. In the beginning was the word. This I'm reading in John 1 in the New Testament. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. So here you can see the very essence of God is light and life. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. So we're in a spiritual battle here. Um, it goes much deeper than the right wing, the left wing. Um, you know, thank you, Richard. Come back again. You can always watch this later. It'll, I'll go ahead and share it. Okay. Thank you. So um, I'm trying to talk low so I don't disturb anybody. Anyways, um, um, God's word is what we're going to need during this turbulent time. We need it. His word is the truth, and he loves each and every one of you. Good night, Richard. Good night. God bless you. He needs us, and I'm going to start praying every morning. Um, well, I pray every morning, and I read the Word, and I've read through it many, many times. I've, I'm in, I think, my fifth time reading through the Bible since 1999, which isn't a whole lot, really, when, in terms of time uh, that I've given to it. But, but um, I know it. I was, I'm, I just was able, have been able to, to store up Scripture in my heart, and so it'll be easy for me to model prayer for you, so that you can, you can know, and be better equipped to help fight this spiritual battle. Okay. Um, I'm not a Bible scholar. I'm your average American citizen. I'm a God-fearing woman who raised four children. And uh, I say this meekly and humbly. Um, and um, my desire is to share my faith. That's my desire. And um, so with that, um, I'll be coming to you live during sacred sessions. Um, as a lot of you know, uh, I produce a live show and it's a singer songwriter event in the San Luis Obispo County area on the central coast of California. And um, I've got a little bit of a following, and I'm hoping that some of you will be joining me each morning to uh, come to you live, and um, I'll be praying with you. I'll be declaring God's promises over you, and I will be reading the word. So, so glad you are here with me this morning. at everyone here who is here with me. Harris, oh my goodness. Thanks for coming in. Holy. Jan, oh my God. That's awesome, the Poka King. Oh, I love Jan, He's, you're awesome. Mm -hmm. Robert, thank you so much for being here this morning. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was sharing at the beginning that uh, this is a new battlefield for us. Uh, this is a spiritual battle that we're fighting. It's much more than the right wing, left wing, political race battle. And so my, my heart's desire is to see the heart of man changed. And the, the condition of, of many, many, many of our hearts is, is very poor right now. We, um, you know, it's kind of like they, they say, you are what you eat right? 
So if you're not eating healthy, your body won't be healthy. Well, many of us are spending so much time on, on social media and um, we are we are taking in lots and lots and lots of positive but negative news as well. And um, so you kind of become what you eat. So I want to I want to share some good food with you. And uh, on the coming days, I'm going to be sharing each morning with uh, by praying for you, praying over all of you. Hi, Oren. Thank you for watching. Um, so I'll be praying daily with you each morning and declaring God's promises over you and reading the word. I am not a Bible scholar. I am just an average American citizen. Um, I've been praying for years. I was saved uh, probably almost 30 years ago. Yeah. And um, so anyways, I'm, I'm just here sharing my faith. So um, if you want to know, um, we're in a spiritual battle. And I keep saying this over again because new people keep joining in on the on this live feed. And I want everyone to know that we're in a spiritual battle. This is not between flesh and blood. This is not the right wing, left wing, the race card. The And I, I don't say that lightly. I do not say that lightly. This is this is a very serious business. We're we're in we've been in a bus, the business of war for how many years now? But the headline of the Epoch Times here on uh, what, what was it May 29th? No, May 28th, June 3rd says a new battlefield to counter irregular warfare by America's adversaries. Special ops should pivot to pre 9/11 strategies. And uh, yeah, we should, we need to, um, that's when the Lord really started speaking to me. That was, uh, in 1999, he gave me the word national disaster. So I was warned of 9-11. I was warned of the, uh, Columbia space shuttle that was going up and exploded and each passenger died and the tsunami in Thailand, I believe that was in 2002. But, um, so the word is really important and your greatest protection in these turbulent times during these turbulent times will be knowing the word of God. And so I'm going to share with you my faith and, um, by faith each morning, um, instead of just keeping my, um, faith to myself, I'm going to share it with the world. I'm going to broadcast live and I'm going to pray over all of you. Uh, you can, you're more than welcome to send me a prayer request. As a matter of fact, um, there's a phone number you can call to leave a message for me. Um, I don't know if I can put that here. No, I don't think I can, but it's 805-316-5054. You can leave a message and, uh, with your prayer request. And I will read that. Um, it's a Google Voice phone number, and I will read that. Um, and I will pray for you. I have, I have lists and lists of people. Let's see where is it? Right here. That I pray for. And if you'd like to be added to the list, um, this is just some of it. Some of the list of people that I pray for. A couple pages there in the beginning. Um, that I pray for daily. So if you'd like to be added to the list, you can certainly email me. Um, I think the best way to send an email would be uh, M like Mary, S like Sam. So that's Moro support, MS for Moro support, MS um, 805, which is the area code of the of where I live. Let's see, <laughs> MS 805. No, 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 it's not. I'm saying it wrong. I'm so sorry. It's so early. Let me get some coffee. Oh. It's MS4, F-O-R, 805 at gmail.com. If you have a prayer request, you can send it to me. I will, I will add you to my list of pages and pages of people that I pray for. And I'm not a Bible scholar. I'm going to say that again. I... I I, I am, I'm a music producer, but I'm also a caregiver during the day. I'm just an average American person who has great faith, really abnormal faith. And it's what's led me to actually go live and share it. But I truly believe that, um, I truly believe that these times call for desperate measures. Oh, desperate times call for desperate measures. And today, today, June 4th. 
20 calls for desperate, desperateness by the people. We need to be desperate. Are we not desperate yet? I mean, we have we have riots and we have, um, I don't want to start ranting, <laughs> but you know, because you're living it like me. And I think that where are you going to turn? What are you going to turn to? Are you going to turn to alcohol and start drinking away your problems, your your um, anxiety and your stress, the drugs? Maybe that's your, your vice, the food. I don't know what your vice is. I don't know what your, your poison is, but God's word is true and it's infallible. It never, ever, ever fails. He is so faithful. And I have known him for almost 30 years intimately. I've been praying and talking to him like he's my, just like he's my earthly daddy and like he's in the room with me. And so in the coming days, I'm going to be here live every single morning. I'm going to be sharing my faith with you. I want to smile because I, I really have amazing joy in my heart and I have him to thank for it. So I want to share that with you in the coming days. I'll be here praying for you, for the nations, and I'll be declaring God's promises over all of you. You can send a prayer request to my email or you can call 805-316-5055 and uh, leave your prayer request. I'll gladly add you to the list of lots and lots and lots of people that I pray for. And um, if you'd like to join me on my prayer team, I would welcome you. I would love for you to join join with me um, where two or more are gathered or three or more are gathered in his name. There he will be and, and he hears us. He really wants to hear from us. And he's calling us, I believe God's calling us to, to rise up for this occasion and uh, fight the spiritual battle. And any way that I can assist in this, I'm going to do that. And you're welcome to join me or you're welcome to not join me. <laughs> yes. Um, hi, Mike. Thank you so much for coming in uh, this morning. And I'm just sharing my faith. And on the upcoming days, I'll be coming to you live each morning. Um, I'll be coming to you live very early, uh, Pacific time, 444 AM. It's a number that uh, God speaks to me through. And I'll be praying for everyone, all the listeners. I'll be declaring God's promises over you, as well as um, reading God's word which I believe is the truth, and that is my belief system, that God the Father um, and Jesus, his son, who died on the cross and rose again and left the deposit of his Holy Spirit. I believe in the Trinity, and so that's the way I'll be praying. And um, if you're in agreement with me, that's great. You can, you're can you welcome to come and, and join me each morning. Um, and if you have a prayer request, again, you can call the number 805-316-5055, or you can send me an email, msf0, no, f o r so ms4805 at gmail.com. Send me a prayer request. I'll be more than happy to, to be praying for you. Um, so with that, I'm going to say a prayer and, um, I'm going to say a prayer and I am going to ask that the Lord bless your day. And, um, Lord, I thank you so much for your presence here. Thank you so much, Father. Lord, I don't know who's watching and who, who needs to hear this message, but I know that you love everyone that's listening. I know you love them so much and you desire relationship with them. And the best way for relationship with you is to know your word because you are the word. John 1 says so that you are the word. And um, so, Lord, thank you so much for putting this in my heart to share my faith with the world. And um, it doesn't matter that I'm not a Bible, Bible scholar. Thank you for that. <laughs> that I'm just an average American citizen that 
loves you so much with all my heart, soul, body, mind, and spirit. And with that, I just want to pray protection over every listener. Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would place the blood of the Lamb shield of protection around each and every person watching here today. Let nothing but your love penetrate that blood of the Lamb shield of protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Place on them the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt buckle of the truth. Shun their feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace of Jesus Christ. Place in their hand the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, sharper than any double-edged sword. Place in their other hand the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Lead them not into temptation, but deliver them from evil, for thine is thy kingdom and the power and the glory. Lord, will you please place the blood of the Lamb shield of protection 20,000 feet above, below, and around every single mode of transportation they travel in and every dwelling place, every place they lay their head to sleep, they have dinners with their families, they um, they gather on the television to watch the, the media, and um, I just pray protection over their eyes and their ears, Father. Blessings to flow for each and every person watching. Thank you so much, Lord. You are so awesome. You are you are Lord of Lord, King of Kings, worthy to be praised. And I exalt you when I worship you, Lord. My heart is so pure. It's just to worship you and to share my faith. And through that, Lord, I pray that you would you would introduce yourself to each and every person watching today, that they would come to know you, Lord, intimately like I know you. And I, I thank you so much for my salvation. I thank you so much. You're so awesome, awesome and precious. And and um, and we desire you, Lord. I'm being an advocate now for you. <laughs> you, the people, I'm being an advocate for you. And I'm praying on your behalf, even if you don't have the words to pray. Even if you've lost a family member to COVID. Even if you've lost a child even if you've lost a parent, even if you've lost your spouse and you can't pray, you don't, you don't find, you can't find the words to utter a single breath prayer even to God. I will pray, I'll advocate for you. And I want you to know how much the Lord loves you and desires relationship with you. He truly does. And the way to know him is to know his word. So each and every day I'm going to be praying. I'll be declaring God's promises over you and reading his word. And um, you don't have to do it by yourself. And I'm not a Bible scholar. I'm just the average American citizen who um, is a God-fearing woman. And I love the Lord very much. And I'm here sharing my faith with you. Um, and I have great hope that we'll make it through this turbulent time. Um but I believe we need God's help. And so some days my prayers will be prayers of intercession and really super, <laughs> you know, um, really super heartfelt and passionate. Not that my passion and my heart isn't in it now. Gershom, 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 Gershom. Hey, Gersh. <laughs> wow, I had a supernatural experience um, well, I don't know if I'd call it supernatural, but I, I received healing through Gershom, my friend Gershom, who is a zombie and, and uh, he's, he was living in South Africa at the time, but spending much of his time here on the Central Coast. And, um, and um, Gershom, you're a great, great, um, you were a great mentor at the time. And um, wow, that's really touching my heart that you're here. Thank you so much for praying with me. Um, Heavenly Father, I, I, I want to turn back to you now, and, and I thank you for Gershom. I thank you, Lord, that you've put him on my heart recently, and that I've um, been able to pray for his ministry. Father God, in the name of Jesus, will you just bless his ministry with uh, laborers on his path, people to pray for his ministry, Lord, and uh, a prayer shield of protection around him to quenched all the fiery darts of the wicked one, um, Lord, and I pray a transfer of wealth, okay, 
And what I mean by that, um, finances would be great. But Lord, what I mean by that is I pray for greater revelation, Lord, and I pray for greater authority in Gershom's voice in Jesus' name, that he would be heard over the nations and that his voice would have a, a, um, an impact like never before. Thank you, Jesus. You're so faithful, Lord. Thank you so much. So in the coming days, I'll be coming, I'll be coming to you live in the mornings. Um, I'll be sharing some of my prayer time with you. I'm pretty radical for Jesus, girl. And so I, um, at times I pray in the spirit, which is called praying in tongues. And so um, lots of my intercession prayer will be done in private, but I definitely want to be here praying for you, declaring God's promises and speaking the truth over you because there is so much truth in uh, Proverbs 21, 18, which says uh, life and death are in the tongue and um, you definitely eat its fruit. Okay. You think about it. You speak life or you speak death. So I'm going to be here speaking life over you and preparing you for the day before you take in the media and the, the, um, your friends who want, who want to share, um, they mean well. They want to share their in, uh, lots of information with you. And I, I, I am one that has shared lots of information. I'm going to take a drink of coffee. My adrenaline, my mouth is drying up. Mm -hmm. We're taking in lots of information. But in the morning, you're going to start out by receiving the truth if you come into this live feed. Okay? Gershom, since you're on now listening, I want to tell you that, uh, are you reading the Epic Times? Epic Times is the newspaper I read from. And I want to tell you the headline for May 28th through June 3rd um, issue says, says this. This is prophetic, right? A new battlefield to counter a regular warfare by Americans, oh, by America's adversaries, Special ops should pivot to pre-9-11 strategy, experts say. Well, let me tell you. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying I'm a blessing. That's awesome. <laughs> You're a blessing, too. Um, this is a new battlefield, America. This is a new battlefield. We are not, not fighting, fighting against flesh and blood. This is a spiritual battle. And God needs you. And he's raising an, up a new army. It's a new battlefield. See that? It's backwards. But you know what? It's a new battlefield and he needs a new army. And God's raising up his army. He's raising up a bunch of God-fearing women and men like me who are not Bible scholars, but who have a heart for Jesus. And we're the warriors. We are the warriors that are rising up and we're going to pray for our nations and we're going to intercede for the heart of man. The condition of the heart of man is so grievous to me. It is so grievous. I mean, I'm, I'm watching some of this in my newsfeed. It's, it's, you know, the F bombs and the, and the hate from the right, from the left. This is a way, if you come into my feed every morning, you'll be able to fill up with the word, the word of God. I'll read it again. My favorite, John 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He is, he is, the great I am is actually the word of God. If you're reading it and studying it, you are having relationship with him by default just by reading his word. But then you ask the divine power of the Holy Spirit to come in and bless what you're reading. He gives you revelation and wisdom and knowledge like you cannot believe. He talks to you like he talks to me. See that number back there? 444. He's been giving me confirmation through that number since 1999. He even had me living at 444 Alder Street in the city that I live now. The eternal word is John 1. In the beginning was the word and the word was God, was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life. Do you hear that? That is the very essence of God. I believe there are three essences of God. Life. Okay, here, let's go. Let's read on a little further. In the life 
was in the light of men. We were given the light through the power of his Holy Spirit. The very essence of God is light and life. Let me finish this and then I'm gonna show you, tell you about the third, the very third is essence of God. And the light shines in the darkness. The light shines in the darkness. If God's word is the light and it shines in the darkness, let's begin our day with reading the word and praying for each other, right? Um, let's see, and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it, okay? Where there is light, there can be no dark. That's the truth of God's word. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go to 1 John. 1 John 4, 8 says, God is love. And that is the very essence of God. What What is the universal language that we can all speak? Hmm? What is the word? Let's see, where is it? I believe it's 4, 8. Yes, it is. Okay. The universal language that we all speak is love, right? Guess what? Guess what? God is love. It says here in 1 John 4, 8, he who does not love does not know God, for God is love. So we're going to speak the universal language of love here every morning on my live feed. I'm going to pray for you. I have to think about this for a moment. <laughs> Hi, George. Welcome. I'm going to pray for you every morning here on my live feed. Um, I'm going to declare God's promises because God, God's word is the truth and the light. He's the, the very essence of God is light and life, which I just read in John 1. And the third essence of God is in 1 John 4, 8. How do I know this? Am I a Bible scholar? No, I'm not. I'm a God-fearing American citizen. I'm a woman who loves God very much. And through the power of his son, I have been redeemed. And I have been redeemed over and over again. Have I walked my faith out perfectly the last 30 years? No, I haven't. But guess what? I can start over. I can start new every single day if I want to. And I do. And I do. So the very essence of God being love in 1 John 4, 8 God is love. And that word love is a universal language that we can all speak. And if anyone should know anything, it is that God is love. God is love. To know love and experience it in the truest, purest, most amazing way is to know him. And the first way to know him is by reading his word. Okay? His word is light, it is life, and it is love. So if you read his word, because he is the word, John 1, you're going to get to know him in a divine way. Just by default, he's going to uh, do what I call a supernatural download. It's going to pour into you like you cannot believe. Blessings are going to come to your family. The Lord blesses you sovereignly. There are sovereign blessings where he just blesses you just because he loves you. But there are conditional blessings, and um, we'll talk about that more uh, as the, in the coming days, about conditional blessings um, where the Lord actually commands something of us, some things of us. And if we do those things, he, he'll give you supernatural blessings. So we'll talk about that in coming days. And I'm speaking to you from just, I'm just the average American citizen. I, I, I'm a God-fearing woman who loves God and um, through his son, Jesus Christ, I've been supernaturally uh, transformed into a totally different person than I was 30 years ago. My ex-husband can attest to that. <laughs> Hi, Calvin. He's not here now, but <laughs> um, yeah, um, I've had to be redeemed over and over and over again. So if you feel like, oh man, you know, there's no way for me. There's no way. There is a way. There is a way. God loves you and he desires relationship with you. So every day I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to declare God's promises over you and I'm going to read the word. And by reading the word, you're going to get to know him. And by getting to know him, you're going to be developing a personal relationship with God 
through Jesus Christ, his son. And you're, you're going to be so surprised at the supernatural way. Um, he's going to, he's going to bless you just by knowing him. Um, you'll, you'll learn by coming to my live feed every morning at 4 44 a.m you're going to learn how to pray you're going to you're going to learn that um like in james gershom what is that what is that um scripture that the effective fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much okay you're going to learn the effective effective fervent prayers of a righteous man by knowing god's word and you don't have to do it by yourself i'll be here every day live in the feed starting at 4 44 a.m i will be praying for you i'll be declaring god's promises and i'll be reading the word and you know no one can deny that right you can deny god's word you well you can deny me I don't mean that you can deny God's word. You can deny me, but how can you deny God's word? Some of you can. That's okay. I'm going to pray for you. Pray, Lord. Lord, I'm just going to pray right now. Lord, supernaturally, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would supernaturally be touching each and every person that's listening right now. Lord, 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 some of us feel like we there is no redemption. There is no saving grace for us. There is no hope. Where is the hope in, in the circumstances that we see right now? But the Lord, thank you, Lord. The Lord wants you to know. He wants you to know that he doesn't want you to focus on our current circumstances. The picture is much bigger than that, okay? This isn't a battle between flesh and blood. This is a battle that's a spiritual battle. It's between good and evil. You see this all the time in your in your, the movies you watch. You know, this, the, how do you say, um, superhero movies. Um, the villain versus the good guy. And we're in a spiritual battle, guys. And so I lost my train of thought. Thank you, Lord, for your presence here. I love you so much. And I, I honor you. I honor you. And I, I thank you. And um, I pray, Lord, for each and every person that's watching that if they feel like there's no redemption for them, there's no hope, there's no, there's no way in these current circumstances. Okay, there it is. Um, Lord, that you would just show them that, that you would show them your eternal perspective through me. Use me as a vessel, guide me and lead me by the power of your Holy Spirit because I'm an average American citizen. I'm not a Bible scholar. I'm just here because of my heart for God and my love for people. If you don't know me personally, I, I'm, my greatest passion is life, in life is caring for people. So it only makes sense that I'm here sharing my faith with you today. And I'm going to be coming to you live every morning at 4.44 a.m. Whatever it is you're facing in your personal life, whether it's a COVID issue, it's a, it's a work-related issue during these times, it, it's, a, it's a family issue, um, I'll be here each morning praying over you. I'll be declaring God's promises and I'll be reading the word. God's word is true and it never fails. Isaiah 55, 11. Let me look it up. Isaiah 55, 11, because uh, I'm not feeling like I can articulate it exactly at the moment. <laughs> Let's see here. Isaiah 55, 11. Okay. Coming to it in my word in the Bible. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. His word is not void. In 1 John, it says, 1 John 4, 8, God is love. Well, guess what? His word says in 1 Corinthians 13, 8, it says, love never fails. Love never fails. God will never fail you. His love for you is unfailing and his word will never return void. What he has spoken is all life. So whatever you're going through today, I hear you. God hears you. God hears you. Um, I have a prayer line you can call my um, and leave a message for me and, and uh, leave your prayer request. I have an email address. Um, 
I, I can um, tell you the phone number is 805-316-5055. Welcome to leave a prayer request. I've got, I'm, I do this every day. <laughs> I have like pages and pages. Oh, hey, Scott. You're, you're such a blessing. God is speaking. <laughs> Thank you for that, Scott. You're right there on my second page. Here, where is it? <laughs> right there, Scott Andrews. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's that's really awesome. For those of you just joining me, um, I'm going to be doing this live feed every morning for I don't know how long. Every morning I'm going to read God's word to you. I'm going to start out by praying for you and declaring God's promises over you. Uh, I'm then going to read the word and the word is the way, the truth, and the life. And God loves you in whatever you're going through, whatever loss you're dealing with. A pet, a family member, a parent, a child, You've lost finances and and you're struggling. There is hope. And so I'm gonna be coming to you every morning, praying for you. I'll be declaring God's promises over you. And I'll be reading his word. He is the word. And my hope for you, each one and every one of you, is that by my reading the word to you and, and um, doing this, number one, by reading the word, that you'll get to know him in a more intimate way. And by modeling prayer for you, you'll learn that the effective, fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much. I believe that's in James, James 4. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the address. I was trying to figure out if anyone knows what, the address. Um for that one that's not coming to me at the moment but uh you know what i've always said <laughs> the effective fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much then how much more powerful are the prayers of a mother i'm a mother i've raised four children and um uh, my mother's a god-fearing woman she was actually my mom my mother is a very powerful woman she's she's um she came to the Lord. She, um, my sister and I prayed with our pastor's wife uh, back in 1998. Uh, the three of us prayed uh, scripture in Ecclesiastes, which states that a threefold cord will not easily be broken. I'm just gonna, I don't know if I, if I even know where that address is at the moment. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, here it is. Here it is. All right. Okay. Okay, I found it. All right. It's Ecclesiastes 4, uh, 12. Though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him, and a threefold cord is not easily broken. My pastor's wife, uh, Brooks Bowman, and my sister and I prayed that together, the three of us, over our mother. And uh, in 1998, the same year we lost our grandfather on March 15th, my mother went on May 10th. I will never forget that day. He went into, she went into the heart of Las Vegas, which is where she was living. And uh, she walked into a city church, the city church in the heart of Las Vegas. It was called, it's called uh, Victory Outreach. I'm sorry, it's not city church. It's a Victory Outreach church. And uh, she walked in there and she was handed a rose and she met the Lord there and was, was saved. Um, and she's been walking since then. She's a very, very powerful uh, prayer warrior, intercessor. Um, she's one of the leaders in New California. And so she's, she's very, a very active voice um, in our community here on the Central Coast of California. Um, she's a voice for the nation, really, because California is leading you know, leading the nations here. So we want to make sure that, um, we want to make sure that, uh, anyways, I'm not going to get political. This is here. But the reason why I'm here is really um, 
because not because I'm a Bible scholar or I'm an expert or anything like that, but I am. I'm an expert. I'm an expert in knowing God because I have a relationship with him. I've been praying and seeking him and reading his word um, for almost 30 years. I hope you have your coffee or your favorite beverage. That's really, coffee is really needed in the morning <laughs> for me. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? I'm going to finish up here. It's kind of going on a little bit too long. There's so much more I want to tell you. So, um, I'll be praying every morning, oh, three together. My father said, Scott, to build a fire, you need three logs. One log can burn out quickly and won't burn. Let's see if I can see that. Scott's writing something to me. Okay, my friend Scott. Together, uh, my father said, Scott, to build a fire, you need three logs. One log can burn out quickly and won't burn. Two logs the same but three you can build a bonfire so it is with oh so it is with prayer too that's right that's right so there's a there's a lot of power in prayer and i'll be showing you that each and every morning as i come to you live so you can start your day with effective fervent prayers of a righteous man and you'll set your day for huge, huge blessings. I mean, your, your day is going to be so much more positive than, than just uh, getting into, you know, you don't want to get into Facebook when you wake up in the morning. I've done this day after day. Believe me, I, I, I'm not perfect at this. And I, I get on Facebook or the platform, whatever your platform is, Twitter, Instagram. Sometimes it just really wrecks me in the morning. And I, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be wrecked by media. I don't want to be wrecked by my friends well-intending friends, of course. I want to be wrecked by God. I want him to be my wrecking ball. And if you have that same desire, come here. Come here. Come to my live feed in the morning and I'll pray for you. I will declare God's promises over you. If you have a prayer request, look, you can just put it right here in the comments comment right there. You don't even have to call my phone number or, or email. Put it right here in the comments. As I'm praying in the morning, I'll just start praying for that specific need that you have. God loves you and I love you and there is hope. So as I leave you today, I just, I'm asking you to not be focused on our current circumstances. Okay. It looks bleak. It looks hopeless. Try, if you will, to have an eternal perspective that this is not a battle of flesh and blood. This is a spiritual battle between good and evil. And God is rising up and raising up a new army a new army of bold believers who are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I am not. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to continue to share my faith. And do you know that the word of God is sharper than any double-edged sword? It cuts through bone and marrow. Prayers are effective. And together, we are going to... We're going to do what the space shuttle just did, right? What did the space shuttle do? Broke into the atmosphere. Well, we're going to break into the spiritual atmosphere. You want to battle, Satan? You want to battle? I'm ready. I'm ready. And thanks to God, thanks be to God that he put it on my heart years ago to start reading this word. And I've read through it. I've read through it many times and I know it. And that 
word of God, this word of God is God and it is our greatest weapon for warfare today. We're in a battle and it's a spiritual battle. It is not a flesh and blood. It's not the right wing, it's not the left wing. It's not about the race you are. And God's heart is for you, not against you. And if he can be for you, who can be against you? Who? No one. I'm here to give you hope today, hope for your future. Just by sharing my quite abnormal faith. <laughs> quite in the raw, just here I am in my bedroom. <laughs> But, you know, God speaks to us. And um, one of the ways he speaks to me is back here. See that number? 444, it might be backwards. Um, he speaks to me through that number. And that's why I'm beginning my broadcast live at 4.44 a.m. every morning, starting today, June 4th. Because um, because God speaks to me, and I felt like he was, he was telling me this is the time. It's time, Michelle. You need to share your faith. I'm an, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the average person, and I can use you. I can use you to be a mouthpiece. Did you know that that the year 20, 2020 is a year of the mouth? Look it up. Google it. The year of the mouth. How ironic. How ironic that we've been we've been masked. We've been blacked out. This is the year of the mouth and this is a spiritual battle and it's between good and evil. And we need to use our mouths to speak life, not death. So I'm going to be here every morning praying for you. I'm going to be declaring God's promises, the truth in his word, what he says about you. Not what the media says about you, not what your friends say about you or your enemies. I'm going to tell you what God says about you in his word. And I will tell you there's power in prayer. And since this is not a spiritual battle, or this is not a, a battle of flesh and blood, it's not really. Um, and I happen to be a um, prophetic intercessor who receives information from God, you might say. And um, there's a new battlefield. That's the Epoch Times. And right on the front page, May 28th through June 3rd, God declares it on the front page of the newspaper. There's a new battlefield. Guess what? There's power in prayer and we have we have the power to change the atmosphere, okay? We have put the power to change the spiritual atmosphere. And every day, we're going to be doing it through this live feed because this live feed is going to begin in prayer and it's going to continue with God's promises over your life and over the nations. And I'm going to read God's word. And... Lord, I just thank you so much for your presence here, Holy Spirit. Father, I, I thank you. And I, I'm asking, Lord, that any person that's listening in, Father, that feels like, feels a lack of hope and they feel defeated, they feel like, like their circumstances are too bleak, there's no, no way to recover. Lord, I pray, God, that you would supernaturally, supernaturally come in, Father. Give them a peace that surpasses all understanding as we present our particular petitions and our, our request to you with thanksgiving of who you are, Lord. You, you are the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, and you are so, so faithful. You have been so faithful to me. And I'm I'm just I'm just a willing, a willing woman, a, a willing vessel to share your divine word and, and your promises and to, to share my testimony of how you have blessed me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share it with the world. I, I just, my greatest passion in my life is to care for others besides my music passion, which is 
number two. Um, but I care for you, each and every one of you. God cares for you. And each morning I'll be praying. My belief system is in God the Father and his son Jesus, who died on the cross and his spirit was raised up. He rose again. And I will tell you that he left a deposit for us, like a bank deposit. He left the power of the Holy Spirit and every one of you has access to the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay. And I'm going to help you each morning um, to know him. I'm going to help you to know him by, by learning his word. I'm going to speak it over you. And uh, in the coming days, I'll share some of my, some of my testimonies about God's faithfulness in my life with you. And um, I'm just the average, ordinary, willing person. I'm just willing to let God use me and, and just With that, I bless you. That your day would be filled with life and that you would choose, um, choose an eternal perspective over your current circumstances because God is big, he's so big and Um, don't forget God is love 1 John 4 8 in John 1 God is light and he is life and those are the three very essences of God and the universal language that we can all speak is love right if you search an image or you search Google uh, the word love uh, there's so much information about it. But the one message that I'm going to share with you is that God is love. His word says so. And without love, you have nothing. So bless your day. Um, I'm going to share this feed. I don't even know what time it is. I can't see the time. So I'm going to have to get a clock in my room. Um, but I've, I've gone on for a little while. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Thanks for coming in. Nice of you. So for those of you who've just joined me, uh, there's quite a few of you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, um, I'll be coming to you live at 4.44 a.m. each morning. And uh, I'll be declaring God's promises over you. I'll be praying for you and reading God's word. And if you'd like to join me, please do. Um, you can comment right there and I'll, I'll see it. I see that some, that some of you have commented, um, but you can comment if you have a prayer request and I will pray for you and, um, God loves you and he has a message for you and I'm just a willing vessel here to share my faith, which is completely abnormal. <laughs> because I'm doing something like this, right? But uh, by my abnormal faith in God, my unusual faith in God, my crazy, it's like, I'm not going to say the word crazy. It's not, it has a negative connotation, but um, because of my abnormal or unusual faith, um, I'll be here sharing with you and sharing the hope for your great future. And one last thing I'm going to say before I leave is, hi, Matt and Joanne from Florida. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. So good to see you. And Timothy, thank you for coming in. Um, but one last thing I want to share with you. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Let me see. Um, keep the faith because he is always so faithful. God is faithful and he'll never let you down. And um, please join me in the upcoming days. Every morning at 4.44 a.m. Pacific time, I'll be praying 
for you, declaring God's promises and reading his word. And the best way to know God is to, is to know his word. And this will be effortless for you because you'll, you'll have me praying and modeling prayer for you so you can learn how the effective, fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much, okay? And, um, and I'll be reading God's word. So it'll, it'll um, help you store it up in your heart. It's our greatest protection in these turbulent times is knowing God's word, okay? Knowing the truth because we, we're taking in so much negative and so many, so many um, the untruths uh, in social media in the, and so forth. And so we need more truth and that's the way we're going to start our day here. So if you'd like to join me, please, you, everyone is welcome. And um, Lord, bless everyone as they leave today. Lord, that your favor for them, on them and their families would increase. Lord, let, let them not love the world so much, Lord, but that they would love you and, and that they would refocus their attentions on you, Lord, and that you would show all of my friends an eternal perspective, Lord, that they would not be focused on their current circumstances, but you would show them an eternal perspective through this message I'm going to share every morning at 4.44 a.m. Lord, help them to sow a good seed today, Lord, so they reap a good harvest. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy. I exalt you and I praise you, oh God, and I thank you so much for the joy down deep in my heart. I thank you, Father, for your presence here and with each and every listener. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Amen. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 4.44 a.m. or I'll share it and you can listen later. God bless you.